On my last video I tested out the Gerber Dime for a week. I've been carrying it around for about three weeks now and I feel it's time to make a full video comparison on the Gerber Dime versus the Leatherman Micro, which I will say has been one of my favorite multi-tools for a while now. But can the Gerber Dime be just as good or even better than the Micro? That's a tough question, but that's exactly what we're going to try to find out in today's video. So we're going to be looking at one, the similar tools they have and how they compare to each other two, the additional tools included on each, three, my final thoughts on how they stack up against each other, and four, which tool is the best option. First, let's take a look at the price. Now, the Gerber Dime costs around $22.99, and the Leatherman Micro costs around $49.95, so you can practically buy two dimes for the price of one Micro. If you're a person who constantly misplaces your tools, or you're afraid of losing your multi-tool, then carrying a cheaper price multi-tool can be seen as a good thing. If you lose it, at least it won't hurt your wallet too much to replace it. That can be viewed as an advantage for the dime, but for many others, it also comes down to the tool quality and the tools included as well, which we'll be looking at in a moment. So that is why price cannot determine a winner. Now let's take a look at the dimensions. For the dime, the dimensions are length, two and three quarters of an inch, width, 7 eighths of an inch, height half an inch. The dimensions of the micro are length two and a half inches, width three quarters of an inch, and height three eighths of an inch. When it comes to the weight, the dime weighs in at 2.2 ounces, while the micro weighs in at 1.8 ounces. So the micro is lighter by 0.4 ounces, which may not seem like much, but when you're trying to maintain a light weight on your keys, this can be very important. I personally don't mind the weight of the dime since it's minimal, but when you start to carry several other things in your pocket, like a flashlight or a knife or extra keys or coin change, all that extra weight starts to add up. So that's why it's important to try to reduce the weight in your keys as well. When it comes to the dimensions, the dime is slightly beefier. It hasn't really been a big bother because the difference is minimal. I've been carrying the dime with my keys now for almost three weeks and I hardly feel a difference in comparison to the micro. But again, when you start to carry additional items in your pocket, those extra centimeters or millimeters, however you want to see it, on each item start to add up. So sometimes it's best to try to keep it as small as possible. I mentioned this on my last video of the dime, that even though the dime is a butterfly open multi-tool, you don't have to open it up to get to most of the tools, with the exception of the pliers or the wire cutters. Most of the tools are found in the exterior, unlike the micro, which you must open in order to access the tools. The only tool you'll find outside of the micro is the ruler. So be because I don't have to open the dime to take out the scissors or the knife, which are the most common tools I use, this makes the dime more desirable. Now let's take a look at the similar tools they have in common, and we'll see which one has the best tools. First up is the knife. Now the knife design on the Micra is nicer in my opinion. They're both about the same size. They both function well for minor tasks like cutting rope or tape or just small things in general. They're both made of different steel materials. The dime is made of 3CR13 steel while the Micra is made of 420HC steel. Because these are not intended to be used for extreme scenarios, both make great knife options. They're not the best quality steel, but it may be important to note that the 420HC steel is supposed to be more corrosion resistant versus the 3CR13. But I say it's a draw when it comes to the knife. They're both just as good. So there isn't really a winner when it comes to the knife. Next we have the scissors. While both scissors work fine, the ones on the Micro are bigger. That's probably the main tool on the Micro for some people. They both are spring loaded. However, the scissors on the Micro, aside from being bigger, they work better in my opinion when it comes to cutting through thick materials. What helps them is that they have more leverage thanks to the longer grip. The scissors on the dime struggle to get through the thick paper. So if you're trying to cut through something that is thick or hard to cut, then maybe the best option is the Micro scissors for that. So the Micro takes the W in my opinion when it comes to the scissors. Next, you have the tweezers. Now the tweezers on the Micro are thicker and have a better grip in my opinion. The only thing is that the tweezers on the Micro are attached to the tool itself. They cannot be removed. Whereas the ones on the dime are not attached to the tool. They're 100% removable, but I feel that the tweezers on the dime are flimsier, easier to bend as well. So I would definitely give the W to the Micro. Next you have the bottle opener. The one on the dime is on the exterior of the tool. That's a great benefit just because of the quick and easy access. Unlike in the case of the Micro where 
where you have to open the tool to get to the bottle opener. It only takes a few more seconds to get to the opener, but if you have the bottle on one hand, then you have to put it down to use both hands to take out the bottle opener on the micro. Whereas in the case of the dime, it's already available on the exterior of the tool. No need to put down the bottle to get to the opener. So the dime's bottle opener takes the W in this category. Next, you have the nail file. The dime has two files, but they're both too small in my opinion. I would have preferred even if it was just one file, but for it to be just as long as the one on the micro. I feel a longer file is much more useful than two small ones. So the micro takes the W when it comes to the files. Next, you have the medium screwdrivers. The medium flatheads always come in handy. Both of these work perfect. I've tried both of them and they work just fine for small jobs. I would think that eventually the black paint on the dimes will come off with time, but that's not much of a problem. So I would say we have a draw when it comes to the medium screwdrivers. Next, you have the small screwdrivers. The small screwdriver on the dime actually looks more like the Phillips screwdriver on the micro since it's a flat Phillips screwdriver. And it actually works just as good to remove Phillips screws like the Phillips screwdriver on the micro. So maybe Gerber should rename the small flat screwdriver as a flat Phillips screwdriver. Since they're both very useful, we have a draw when it comes to the small screwdrivers as well. Finally, you have the lanyard ring. The lanyard rings may look almost identical, but the dime's ring feels flimsy compared to the one on the micro. But that's something that can be replaced for a thicker ring. And that may be something you want to do if you get the dime. Because the last thing you want to do is lose your tool because of a flimsy lanyard ring. So when it comes to the lanyard rings, the micro takes a W in my opinion. Now let's take a look at the additional tools that each one has and see which ones are more useful. On the dime side, you have the following additional tools. The retail package opener, wire cutters, and the spring-loaded pliers. On the micro side, you have the following additional tools. Flat Phillips screwdriver, ruler, and nail cleaner. First, let's take a look at the tools on the micro. The flat Phillips screwdriver is always useful. I've used this one several times and it works great not only for Phillips, but also for flathead screws. So it's got two uses. The ruler is also a useful tool. It just comes down to will you be using it at all or not. It's a small ruler, but for example, in my case, sometimes for my videos, I have to do a quick measurement of a knife or something else. And if the micro is nearby, I use that instead of going out to take out a bigger ruler. So it's always a handy tool in my case. The nail cleaner is also useful, but it also comes down to are you planning on using it or not? Is this something you really need in your multi-tool? Now let's take a look at the additional tools on the dime. First up is the retail package opener. Now the retail package opener is something I don't have on other multi-tools. And to be honest, I found it very useful. I rather use this over the knife to open packages just because it's a smaller blade and it minimizes the risk of damaging what's inside the package. This also helps because you don't have to be sharpening your knife that often since you're not really using the knife anymore to open packages. The wire cutters, may not be the best on the dime, but I do believe that for small tasks, they work fine. Also, these are not meant to replace any of your tools. They're more for an emergency. And to be honest, they work good enough. And finally, you have the spring-loaded pliers. Now, the spring-loaded pliers are now a must-have tool on any multi-tool for me from now on. When it comes to the mini multi-tools, I always prioritize that it came equipped with some good scissors and a blade, since I saw those as the main tools that would be used in my case. But after trying out the dime, I found out that the pliers, even though they are quite small, they can get you out of a tight spot. And I'll give you an example. If your car battery dies and you don't have your tools with you, I see that the dime pliers has the ability to remove your battery terminal connectors. That is, of course, if the connectors are not too tight or they feel like if they're almost welded onto the battery. They can probably come in handy in a situation like that. That is something that the Micra cannot do. Now, here are my final thoughts on how these tools stack up against each other. Both the dime and the Micra have their own pros and cons. When it comes to the tools that they have in common, the Micra seem to be a better option winning in four out of eight tools. The dime seemed to be the best option just on one tool, which was the bottle opener. And we had a draw in three other tools. When it comes to the additional tools included on the dime and the micro, the dime had better options in my opinion. Yes, the ruler, the nail cleaner, and the Phillips screwdriver are great additional tools on the micro, which would come in handy any day. But I feel that the retail package opener, the wire cutters, and the spring-loaded pliers on the dime would be far more necessary and useful 
tool. So which tool is the best option? It just comes down to what is it that you're looking for in a mini multi-tool. I feel that the Micra is built in a way that may last longer, but it also comes down to how much use are you getting out of it? I don't want to get a multi-tool that I'm not going to be using. I may not use the nail cleaner that often, but I do use pliers frequently, even small pliers. So in a way, the dime seems to be a good fit for me for now. And I sure do enjoy the retail package opener. So chances are I'll be using the dime a little more than the Micra for the next few weeks. Plus, if I lose the dime or break it, at least it won't hurt my pocket. As bad as if I lost the Micra. But again, it just comes down to what you prefer. Both are great options. Well, friends, that is all I have for y'all today. I hope I have earned your subscription. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it as well. Have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video.